I'm going to take a moment to talk about an upgrade I'm going to do to my micro lathe. I enjoy making small engines and I find myself having to change the tool in this single tool post right here. Um, something to speed up the process is a quick change tool post and I have one over here and I'm going to show you what it is and how it works and how it can make your time more enjoyable. So I'm going to pull this stock tool post holder off. It only holds one bit. So if you're facing off some bar stock and you want to go to bore it out, you're going to have to take this out, put in the boring bar in, then spin it around so you can bore out your part that you're making. A tool post to make this job a bit easier is called a quick change tool post and I have one here. So the quick change tool post I have here is from A to Z CNC. Inside you have some information about the company and the product. This tool post is actually made in the USA. It's 6061T6 aluminum and it's hard anodized. So the benefit of a quick change tool post is that you have dovetails for tool holders. You could slide them on, lock them in. This guy never has to come off of your cross slide. If you want to bore, you release the tool post. You could pull out your facing off operation. You could put a boring bar down on this side, lock it in and you're ready to go. The benefit of a quick change tool post is the fact that you can adjust your tool height so you don't have to shim your tool anymore. Alright so installing this uh, you start off with um, the mounting kit. So I have a tag lathe so that's the mounting kit I'm going to be using. Just wanted to show you what it looks like in the package. So you have a spacer, some bolts, and T-nuts. So let's assemble this. Put the bolts in the spacer so the heads are recessed in. Take the T-nuts, get them started. And this is going to be the base your quick change tool post will sit on. And it will be what's bolting down to the cross slide. So just like the stock tool post, the T-nuts slide in. So this is a really well thought out design, it's really stout, you're never going to be able to move this quick change tool post once it's secured. So we'll get these guys started. So next up you have your 3 inch bolt, get your tool post, and we're going to bolt that down next. So now you have a mounted tool post. And now let's see the benefit of this. Your tool post has two dovetails and what secures it is pressure from this dowel that gets pushed out. So when you put your tool post on, lock it in, it's going nowhere, and here is where you can adjust your tool height but you do that actually when it's loose. So I'm sure most of you are anxious to see this tool post in action. What I have here is a rifle cartridge and I need to part off the end for a project I'm doing. I have it supported in the back and it's spinning true. So we're gonna put our parting tool off in the quick change tool post. Now's the time to make sure your tool height's set you can lock it in and put the cross slide stop on just so I'm not going to hit the chuck when it starts spinning. So let's see how it does.
As you can see, that new parting tool in the tool post works well.